the next on PBS Kids. PBS Kids on KSBS is brought to you in part by Building a better community takes all of us. And McLaughlin and Mitchell Holmes are proud to support PBS Kids programming on KSBS. was made possible by Chuck E. Cheese's proud supporter of PBS Kids helping kids discover that families and fun go hand in hand PBS Kids where a kid can be a kid and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you thank you now a cartoon of Barney the purple dinosaur marches cartoon kids march behind him Barney and friends in a park, a Barney doll sparkles and comes to life. Barney is a dinosaur from our imagination. And when he's gone, he's what we call a dinosaur sensation. In the park, real kids play with Barney. He's as big as a grown-up. Barney's friends are big and small. They come from lots of places. After school, they meet to play and sing with happy faces. Barney shows us lots of things like how to play pretend. Glitters, a title, Terrific Manners. Now in the park, a girl and her mom walk across the bandstand. Scott and Gianna sit on the swings. I wonder where that is. What time is it, Scott? Let's see. It's 3 30. She should be here any time. What is that? I don't know, but the sound is getting closer. It's coming from over there. Beth taps the lid of a plastic box. What? Hi, Beth. Hi, Gianna. Hi, Scott. Hey, check this out. She opens the box. Fresh cookies. Mmm, they do smell good. My mom helped me make them for our tea party today. And I brought a whole box of party decorations. And I sent out the invitation. Really? Cool. Who else do you ask to our tea party? Oh, uh, you'll see when they get here. I can't wait to see who comes. Yeah, me neither. And you're invited to Barney. That is. The Barney doll sparkles, then comes to life. Hi there, everyone. Now Barney is big. These cookies do smell good. And they'll taste even better. Oh, I bet. <laughs> Scott opens his box. Barney, would you please help us set up our decorations for our tea party? Whoa, I'd be delighted to. <laughs> Working or playing is always more fun when you're doing it with friends. I like to run and jump and play. There's so many things to do. I like it even better when it's with a friend or two. The kids watch as Barney pulls balloons from the box. It's what I like to do, being together with friends. Together the whole day through. Any day, any time. Day or night, rain or shine, together with friends like you. Beth and Gianna set up the balloons. Scott. Every day I learn new things and grow a little too. Oh. It only makes it better when it's with a friend like you. Oh. Being together oh. with friends oh. is what I like to do. Being together with friends. The park is covered in colorful balloons. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, 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 everything looks great. It sure does. Thanks for the decoration, Scott. You're welcome, I guess. Scott looks at the box. A yellow kid dinosaur. Oh, hi, guys. Oh. Is this the place for the party? Oh, oh me too. I want to come to the party. Hi, baby. Hi. Uh, uh oh, I almost forgot. The green kid dinosaur rings the bell. Clothes and hats. 
make my cookie? Oh, no. I meant that we need to clean up from our party. And when everybody helps out, oh, it'll be easy. Now it's time to put away everything that we took out. When the place is nice and clean, it makes us feel so proud. We always clean up, clean up. Later, the kids follow Barney into the caboose. Hmm, so, uh, did we get everything cleaned up? Uh-huh. Oh. And Baby Buck and BJ taking the trash to the trash can. Oh, hmm. I think Baby Buck really likes your mom's cookies. <laughs> and I think she liked learning about please and thank you, too. Oh, I'm glad you all helped Baby Buck. Saying please and thank you is part of having good manners. Oh, and that's very important. <laughs> Yesterday, I read a book about some kids who didn't have very good manners. Hmm. Maybe I can find it again. Huh. Beth steps onto a ladder and takes a book from a shelf. Oh, here it is. These are poems about some messy kids called the Flutal Dudes. The <laughs> what? Oh, the Floodle Dupes. <laughs> I know this book, and it is funny. <laughs> Would you please read it to us, Barney? Well, I could, but I've got an idea that's even more fun. Well, if you'll help me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, here's what we can do. Barney and the kids huddle together. Later, BJ and Baby Bop walk into the caboose. Good job, Oh, BJ and Baby Bop. Oh, you're just in time for our little show. Oh, what kind of show? Oh, you'll see. Walk this way, please. Barney hops and turns around. BJ and Baby Bop do the same thing, then follow him. Later, Barney walks out onto a stage, sit with a table and chairs. <laughs> <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a show about some children who need to learn good manners. <laughs> They're called the Flutal Dudes. Oh, yay! Yeah. The kids dance on stage, dressed in funny clothes. Gianna wears a feathery scarf. Beth wears a fluffy orange skirt, and Scott wears a hat with long, moppy hair. First, um, the story of Fiona Flutledoo. Scott and Gianna bump into Beth, then walk off stage. Beth sits at the table. Wow. <laughs> Fiona Flutledoo loves her treats and passes the hours of eating sweets. She munches on muffins starting at one. At two, she goes through a cinnamon bun. Chocolate cake looks tasty at three. At four, she says, A pastry for me! A plate full of cookies gets eaten at five. At six, how delightful the donuts arrive. <laughs> At seven, her dinner is served on a plate. Healthy and tasty, but it's too late. I'm too full of sweet. Says sad Fiona, and she goes off to bed to Mona and Grona. <laughs> mm, I've got such a tummy ache. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Uh, me too. Oh, hey, look, here comes some more little dudes. Scott and Gianna walk out and sit at the table. The Floodle Dupes don't have a clue, when at the table, what to do. Instead of sitting straight and tall, they fuss and binge it all till they fall. They're too busy playing pranks to bother saying please or thanks. They play with foods like they were toys. These misbehaving girls and boys, considering all the things they do, I'm not a Floodle Dupe. Are you? No, no way. way. I'm not a Oh, the end. Oh, good job, everybody. Oh, very nice. Oh. Yay. Thank Barney. I am not a floodle. Oh. It's fun to try to 
Baby Bob and BJ walk down a path. They sparkle and disappear. <laughs> I'm glad they came to our tea party. It really helped make things special. Oh, you're right. <laughs> of course, every day can be something special when you share it with the people you love. Barney hugs each of the kids. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Barney and the kids hold hands and sway back and forth. I love you. You love me. We're best friends like friends should be with a great big hug. Kids hug Barney. Oh. I guess we better get going too. Thanks for everything, Barney. Oh, yeah, oh you're very welcome. <laughs> See you soon. Oh, bye bye. Bye. Oh. bye. See you. The kids skip out of the park. Yeah. Nope, I almost forgot my little cookie book. Oh, there it is. Thanks again, Barney. Beth leaves. The Barney doll holds a cookie. One eye twinkles. Every parent needs a helping hand. Barney brings the essential development skills your child needs for sharing and good manners. The time to start teaching good manners and being polite is during the preschool years. In this episode, the children throw a tea party for Barney, BJ, and Baby Bop. Everyone practices using good manners at the party. Taking turns, sharing tea, and cleaning up together afterwards. Modeling polite behavior is an effective way children learn. Barney and his friends show Baby Bob how to cover her mouth when she sneezes. Sharing a silly story is another way BJ, Baby Bob, and the children learn about using good manners. Teach children the polite way to ask for something by saying please and thank you. It helps them learn the meaning and importance of these two words. Try these and other learning activities at home. You'll be making memories and growing young minds. Barney, a helping hand for growing children. To learn more about Barney and Friends, visit PBS online at pbskids.org. Now in a video, a boy pretends to fly like an airplane. Let's go see me! 